you believe it's Senator Stuart Sivray, then Jersey's current health minister, told him to go and commit suicide. Now in a moment, the man at the centre of the storm, Senator Jim Pershard, will tell us his version of events. But first, here's a recap of events that are reported to have happened over the past few weeks. It all came to a head during a state's debate on Tuesday the 10th of March. Senator Stuart Sivray brought the sitting to a standstill, claiming Senator Jimmy Pershard had sworn at him and told him to go and top himself. Senator Pershard denied the claim, saying, I absolutely refute that. But less than a week later, after a number of members who sit next to Senator Pershard said they'd heard him swear, he was forced to admit he'd lied. But he still denied telling the former health minister to go and commit suicide. That may be true, but Senator Pershard has now admitted that on another occasion he did tell Senator Stuart Sivray to go and do everyone a favour and slit his wrists. Last week, Senator Pershard apologised in the States and said constant goading by Senator Sivray had caused him to lose his cool. But for some members, that apology wasn't enough. And one of them has tabled questions for tomorrow morning. I think he ought to apologise to people who have been affected by either by suicide or whose family members have been affected, and I think he does need to apologise to them. Up until now, Senator Pershard has avoided speaking to the media, but with pressure mounting for his resignation, he's decided to face his critics. Well, Senator Jimmy Pershard joins us now. And um, Health Minister, let's first of all clarify exactly what happened in the States. Did you swear at Senator Sivray, and did you tell him to go and commit suicide? Senator Sivray uh, and I sit by each other, or used to sit by each other in the state's assembly, and occasionally, uh, after being goaded, we would uh, have a, a private conversation. And yes, I did swear uh, at Senator Sivray, as he does uh, to me. But did you, did you tell him to go and commit suicide? No, no not, not on that occasion I didn't. But I, I have to admit that last year, after being called a corrupt crook, um, I did uh, suggest that he he'd do us all a favour uh, and, and go and um, commit suicide. I regret that immensely. I wish I hadn't have said it. It's not very parliamentary. And I have caused great offence to many people. Uh, and I'm sorry about that. What, what was the exact words you used then? W was it Look, going what I, It was a private conversation. It was overheard by a journalist who decided to, uh, with Senator Sivray, to, 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 to put it into the public domain. I regret it immensely. It was last year. And I, I should never have said it. I am so sorry I did say it. I've caused great harm and uh, offence to people who have suffered um, loss of uh, bereavement as a result of, of, of somebody committing suicide. I can only imagine the pain that uh, that would cause, and this would just multiply it. And I'm sorry for that. I've learnt a great deal from this. Words, albeit can be spoken easily, um, can mean a lot. And uh, I. Um, I'm sorry. Why did you say it, Senator Persh? I mean, you were Assistant Health Minister at the time, and a lot of people said that, you know, that, that is a position where you're encouraging and promoting the health and well-being of islanders, Absolutely. and you said it, and you, you were in a public position, no matter who you said it to. Absolutely. Did, did, you not, did it not occur to you that that would be a stupid it, thing to say? It, it, it was a off-the-cuff, silly, stupid thing to have said. I'm sorry I said it, and I'm sorry the, the offence I've ca uh, caused. Have you apologised to Senator Sivray? I've, I've apologised to the people of Jersey, the states, all the states' members. But Senator and, Sivray and, specifically. And I want now to apologise to people who, who may have been um, what about, hurt, hurt. Sorry. What about Senator people, Sivray? We, we've heard I would that. like to apologise to people who may have been hurt by, by my comments, people that ha have uh, lost loved ones, and uh, so and this 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 comment is is, is simply just uh, multiplied their pain, and I'm, I'm sorry. I have to press you on this though. You haven't apologised to Senator Sivray. I've, I've apologised to all states members. What about him individually? You Senator Sivray is a member of the states. But, but individually, on a one-to-one -one basis, no, you I said it to no, no. Do you intend to? Yes, I'm quite happy to. I really am sorry that I've offended Senator Sivray. Uh, states members, the people of Jersey, and people who have lost loved ones, and uh, I, um, I, I wish to use the time I have at Health to ensure that our health, um, uh, that our mental health department is properly resourced. And I want to learn from this experience, and okay. I, I think I'll be stronger for it. Well, I mean, as you've admitted yourself, you know, your comments have provoked a, lo a lot of anger um, from people who have lost loved ones through suicide. Um, and one of those people is uh, a Jersey woman, Jill Grazia. Now, by a cruel twist of fate, today is the fifth anniversary of the death of her son, Neil. She is appalled by the health minister's remarks and is calling for his resignation.
I, I feel there are ways you can um, get round issues and speak to people and get the best out of them without resorting to words like that. But for my part, I can't describe to anybody what it's like because there aren't words. There aren't words. It was five years ago today that Jill's son, Neil, took his own life. For her, the pain will never go away. The comments alleged to have been made to Senator Sivray by the Health Minister were hurtful and unacceptable. Nobody should make that sort of remark. Um, there are a lot of vulnerable people out there that, you know, might, realize, might think, well, you know, life isn't worth a lot. People see it that way. Somebody in our government sees it that way, you know, and it might tip them over the edge. Um, you have people like the Samaritans that are volunteering and spend hours and hours and hours on the phone trying to talk people out of committing suicide and then this sort of comment gets made uh, in the public domain. It's wrong. It is totally wrong. Jill wrote to Senator Pershard voicing her distress. She says the reply was swift but the apology itself was brief. Um, the remainder of the email was used up blaming Senator Sivray. Um, it was all Senator Sivray's fault. Um, Stuart Sivray didn't put the words in his mouth, they came out of his mouth. He claims he was provoked, but whatever provocation there was, there's no justification for that sort of comment. Senator Pershard has also apologised in the House, but Jill says that for her and others like her, it's just not enough. Mr Pershard, I don't think you realise the hurt and the harm that you've done. Um, your words were not acceptable to anybody under any circumstances at any time. Um, and I just hope you do the decent thing. And if you don't resign, at least give the people that have been affected by this a genuine apology. So there you have it, Senator Pershard. She's calling for your resignation. Will you resign? I would like to meet Mrs Garcia to understand the full extent of her pain and to try and learn from, from this experience. No, I've got no intention of resigning. I will be stronger for this um, and we'll, looking, um, we'll be looking to support our mental health services uh, to a greater extent and to really understand the problem. I do know that suicide levels in Jersey are higher statistically than they are in, in the mainland. We need to get to the bottom as to why and try and learn from this. And I will be better and better equipped to, to do that. Uh, there is a job to do here. And I, I am very sorry to Mrs Garcia for the offence I've caused her. I can only imagine the pain that she's been through for the last five years. And I, I apologise unreservedly to her and others. Now, those sound like very solemn words, but at the moment they, they are just are. words. Do you intend to actually do anything about it? Like, for example, what would you say to spending a day with the Samaritans and actually learning from them and, and chipping in with the work that they do? Well, I, I, and I have already started work um, visiting our mental health um, people uh, and uh, having discussions with them about our suicide prevention strategy. I am, I am aware that uh, this is a very complex and, and deep subject and very emotive and uh, I, I, I am going to ensure that it, gets a pri it is a priority for me well, as we move forward. Well, while we've got you talking on, on record, will you commit to actually going down to the Samaritan Say and allowing us to well, film it? There's lots of places I, I commit to going to. Focus on mental health is a wonderful institution as well as is the Samaritans. We're working Positive. But will you allow, allow us to, to look at you, you know, taking part in some restorative I'm, justice? Uh, I, I'm quite happy to uh, visit the Samaritans and learn from them. I want to learn more about the, the, the incidence of mental health and suicide, and Jersey must try and, and improve its strategy and improve, improve its, uh, its, its assistance. It offers to people who are desperate. And, um, I want to lead that. As it, we had there, Mrs. Grazia was, was calling for a resignation. Why shouldn't you resign? Well, I, I, I've apologised unreservedly for a, a comment I made in a private discussion with somebody who had provoked me, mm. provoked me and goaded me. And yeah. I flipped, I said something at the spur of the moment, it was outrageous, I'm sorry for saying it, and I really do regret it. But this didn't, it wasn't said without provocation. I think most of your listeners will be aware of the levels of pro provocation people like me and officers of the department, even the bailiff, have to endure at times. Okay. Well, I've put some of our viewers' comments there to you. It'll be interesting to see whether you do actually uh, carry out your, your promise to apologise to Senator Sivray and also go and visit the Samaritans. We'll look forward to seeing what happens afterwards. Senator Jimmy Pershard, thank you for coming in.